Thank you again. Our next question, the International Year of the Cooperative is being celebrated worldwide. What's one idea that local co-ops can do to join in the celebration? Well, when, when ICA's Global Board looked at the International Year, when we, we fought to get this with the United Nations and, uh, and we advocated for it and, and uh, they agreed that this, this was, uh, uh, was, cooperatives are an idea whose time has come ag again and uh, that sh we should be recognized for the contributions we make. When the, the Global Board then said, well, we have this now, what, what do we do with this? How do we make sure that we don't squander this opportunity? There were all kinds of brainstorming ideas, as you can imagine, about what we might do for a political agenda, for education, for academic uh, institutions, to get cooperatives in, in law firms and business schools. And all of that makes sense, and all of that is important. But we felt we should do one thing, just focus on one thing and do it really well. And the one thing that we felt was unique about this year that we couldn't do as effectively in other years is to really leverage the UN name to get public attention, public awareness to cooperatives. And if we can use this year not just as a celebration, and when December 31st comes in 2012, not just to say that was fun, we, we had events, it was really interesting, but to really begin to build a public relations campaign that we can build on year after year for the rest of the decade and to get it off to a good solid start by leveraging the UN attention, we said that's really what we can do. So our, our hope and our goal is for cooperatives around the world to engage in the use of the logo and the slogan for the international year and to drive traffic to the 2012.coop website where people who are exposed to cooperatives during the year in different countries can learn more, more than we can tell them in a short time when they happen to be passing by the cooperative or seeing a, an annual report or seeing a shopping bag, but to drive them to the website to learn more and to get them hooked on what it means to be a values-based business. We have three key themes, three th key messages in this global media campaign that we're launching for the international year. And the first one is that cooperatives are a serious business, that people understand I think many times that we're doing a lot of good locally, but they don't understand that there are huge cooperatives that are going head to head with large multinational corporations and succeeding. We're a serious alternative business model. The second message is that we're values based. We're not like multinational corporations. We do believe in sustainability. It's core to what we do. We believe in fair access. This is all part of what it means to be a cooperative. And the third is the message I mentioned before about you have a voice. You, you can make a difference. You can have a say in a cooperative. That's all part of the public relations campaign. If every cooperative engages in that around the world, we will surprise the public by the number of times they're exposed to it, by the number of sectors in which cooperatives are engaged. They'll see organizations they never understood were cooperatives, and they'll be impressed and intrigued and will want to learn more and that's how we'll begin to get to that goal that by the end of this decade, cooperatives will be the fastest growing business model in the world. I think one of the great things, and particularly in the food co-op community, um, food co-ops um, have experienced tremendous growth and success in the last 10 to 15 years. Um, in part, I believe it's because they have paid attention to, the, to understanding the business model and they paid attention to governance, that linkage between um, the needs of the members reflected in a board of director, directors and their subsequent direction to management. Um, those things are present in the food co-op community. I would encourage members of the food co-op community to engage with other consumer-owned uh, co-ops, particularly all co-ops in general, but particularly other consumer-owned co-ops to say, what are the needs of our members in our community that are not yet met? And is there a legitimate place for us to be pursuing cooperative development in our own communities to meet the needs of our own members uh, and meet the needs of our communities? Um, simply starting the dialogue with their other, with other co-ops in their communities and with their members and being open to seeing where this business model might have an additional impact I think would be a great way 
to celebrate part of the uh, International Year of the Cooperative. Um, in addition to that, uh, any of the things that we can do to celebrate our past, to, to remember the day the lights came on in the farm, which is the rural electric story, or um, any of the ways that we remember how, co how um, uh, credit unions have provided uh, alternatives to um, investor-owned banks and the benefits that come to our communities because of that. Anything that we can do to recall our stories, live them, and plant the seeds for the dreaming and scheming and gristful conversation that's necessary for us to move forward in, in this economy and, and into the next uh, uh, into the next millennium. Well, uh, NCGA has actually put a great deal of work into the International Year of the Cooperatives, and we have filmed a series of videos at some of our members in different regions all around the country at various different events hosted by Top Chef finalist Kevin Gillespie. And these videos are going to launch on January 24th over a virtual premiere party. I'd like to uh, give you a plug for Stronger Together strongertogether.coop for more information about that video launch but if locally co-ops can do viewing parties or perhaps have those videos you know playing in the store or some other means to draw consumer attention to those they tell a great story of a lot of our members doing a lot of really cool things in all areas of the country so there's one um, you can also you know encourage folks in your local co-op to log on to strongertogether.coop often because we'll have a variety of different activities and information about cooperatives throughout the course of the year. Well, the International Year of Cooperatives declared by the United Nations is, is the greatest opportunity that we've had in decades to raise the profile of, of cooperatives. And as there's a growing interest in uh, the development of new cooperatives, especially food cooperatives, this is, all, this is a kind of a, uh, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Uh, people are out there receptive uh, to the idea of, of cooperatives, and we have this great platform uh, to build upon. Uh, so I think uh, one thing that certainly cooperatives could do is to promote uh, uh, the, the International Year uh, uh, to um, uh, people in their communities using their existing uh, channels of communication. But I think the one thing that uh, existing cooperatives could do is to reach out across sectors. Uh, to say in our community we, there are more than just food cooperatives, there may be credit unions, worker cooperatives, housing co-ops, and really use this as an opportunity uh, to, to present a common message uh, around the international year. The theme is uh, cooperative enterprises build a better world, and so that's a message that I think will resonate in communities across, uh, across the country. Something specific that I think that uh, would be very valuable is to focus on young people. That uh, our cooperative message, again, I will resonate with young people, but be very deliberate and specific about creating activities that will appeal uh, to younger people. Uh, you know, uh, events that maybe involve, uh, uh, you know, music, uh, uh, seminars that talk about uh, organizing uh, new types of businesses, you know, around the cooperative model, but being very deliberate upon involving young people and reaching out to young people around issues that they may find of, of value. So I think working across sectors, focusing on uh, events and activities and, and issues that will appeal to young people will, would be a great way to celebrate the International Year of Cooperatives. I think the best thing they can do is take advantage of their local connections. Because we are um, all independent businesses and we're spread out across the country, we've got this fantastic infrastructure in place to get the word out. Uh, it, we're not centralized and, and trying to push it out. We, we can just share it within our communities. And if every, every co-op were to craft their own local message around what they're doing and around the people in their community and get it out in the press or in some public event, the impact would be tremendous. People would hear about co-ops that wouldn't have otherwise and, and become interested and hopefully uh, check it out. Come and see the store, join a new co-op, think about what their, their choices mean. And so at the grassroots level, I would really like to see each store 
taking it on as a project locally and, and, and not everybody having exactly the same answer to that question, but what works in our community? How can we make people excited about co-ops and get it in the press, get out on the streets, whatever it takes? Well, I think the first thing is to pass the resolution. Uh, in, NCBA has, a, has a drafted a resolution for uh, co-ops to be able to use for their annual meetings or their board meetings to pass the resolution in support of the, the International Year of the Cooperative. I think another thing is to meet with other co-ops in your communities and explore what issues you have in common. Uh, credit unions, electric co-ops, worker co-ops, um, healthcare co-ops, any kind of other co-ops that might exist in your community and use uh, your collaboration with them both to share ideas but also to create greater visibility for cooperatives in your community. I think there are other opportunities for uh, celebrating, uh, creating awards. Um, maybe there's a, a co-op hero award that each community could um, start this year. Name it after a, a, a co-op hero in your community and, and honor someone each year with a, a, someone who exemplifies the cooperative principles. Um, I think another really important thing is getting staff excited and so um, it's something more that um, managers of co-ops would be involved with but finding ways to, uh, to uh, help the staff understand the importance of this year that we're having, what a great opportunity it is to really share the vision and the promise of cooperatives with people around the world. 